I'm Angela Maika. I'm a third year doctoral student at uh, Tulane University School of Public Health. Uh, my poster is on health insurance as a policy instrument for promoting inclusive growth uh, evidence from Ghana. The Commission on Macroeconomics and Health has documented the importance of investing in health as a tool for promoting uh, economic development in countries. Implementing a national health insurance scheme is one way in which a government can promote inclusive economic development. Ghana implemented a national health insurance scheme in 2004. The scheme since its introduction has gained a lot of attention uh, because of its novel way of uh, health financing as well as the potential it has to impact access to health care for Ghanaians. The objective of this study is to assess whether the introduction of the health insurance scheme has promoted inclusive growth in Ghana. Specifically, I am interested in assessing the impact of having health insurance coverage on pregnant women's use of ANC uh, uh, services by socioeconomic groups. The diagram here highlights how public policy can be used to impact socioeconomic differences. For the analysis, I used the 2008 Ghana Demographic Health Survey. It's a nationally representative survey but for the study sample, I limit it to women who have had a pregnancy within the previous five years. My outcome of interest is whether the woman had four or more ANC visits. And the independent uh, variable of interest is whether they had health insurance as well. Empirical approach, I'm using propensity score matching techniques and that is an evaluation method that allows the construction of a comparison group based on observable characteristics. Here I'm using it to estimate the impact of having health insurance on pregnant women's use of ANC in each socioeconomic group so that I can uh, observe whether there's differential impacts across socioeconomic groups. Table 1 here highlights the socioeconomic differences in ANC youth. Uh, we can see that although ANC use is relatively high in Ghana, there's substantial differences across socioeconomic groups. Amongst the richest pregnant women, uh, almost 97 percent have four or more ANC visits, whereas only around 66 percent of the poorest pregnant women have more than four ANC visits. Uh, table 2 compares insured pregnant women to uninsured pregnant women across various uh, characteristics. And here we observe uh, most of the expected relationships. The richer uh, pregnant women are more likely to have health insurance. The more educated ones are more likely to have health insurance. Table 3 and figure 2 presents the results from the propensity score matching technique. Uh, table 3 is the overall impact and that shows that amongst uh, pregnant women, the insured ones have an increased likelihood of 11 percentage points of using more than four uh, visits to the ANC services, whereas um, this is lower for the uninsured uh, pregnant women. The key finding from the study is in figure two. Uh, this shows the insurance effect by socioeconomic groupings. And so here you realize that for the poorest pregnant women, having health insurance increases the likelihood of them having more than four visits by 18.4 percentage points. Whereas for the richer uh, pregnant women, that increase is only 6.3 percent. Um, this shows that health insurance does have an impact on ANC use, and more importantly, that that impact is differential in that. Um, it promotes inclusive growth because the differences are poor, poor, if you would say. The poorer people have a higher impact than the rich uh, people. Um, 
I would say that it's important to know that health insurance is not the only tool that uh, should be addressed if uh, governments are looking to minimize the socioeconomic uh, disparities in health service use. Um, the findings from this uh, study can be used by similar African countries that are interested in setting up national health insurance programs. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much.